Today it's time for some multicoloured honeycomb. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I've got the new honeycomb stencil from Ulta New. It's being released today and I had this idea in my head and I just had to do it. I wanted a multicoloured background and I did have to think about it for a while. I wasn't sure how I was going to go about it and this is how I did it and actually came together really easily. So I've got a piece of 80 pound Nina cardstock and it's adhered to my craft sheet. I've also actually adhered the honeycomb stencil down just with some low tack tape as well and then used my post-it notes and I have actually masked around the one of the honeycomb holes and what I've done is actually added some more tape on top to actually tape all the masks together and that way I've got a piece that I can lift off and move around and add colour to my cardstock through the stencil without having to re um, create my mask every time I can just reuse this mask I've got my life-changing blender brushes and that was just I wanted this to be a really kind of pastel kind of color and look at that it's so cool and then see I could just pick up the post my all my stuck together post-it notes and choose another honeycomb and start adding more color and I just randomly place these around on the panel and I did reuse this mask for two colors and then I did another two colors so the the first two colors are the buttercream and the minty mint and then I thought it would be wiser to change up create a whole new mask like I don't know would you call it waist five how many sides on one of these one two three four five six <laughs> oh you think I'd know that wouldn't you six more post-it notes but I don't think it was a waste I didn't want to contaminate and I just love these brushes I am the world's worst blender especially when it comes to pastels and light colors and this isn't Bristol smooth you know all those things so I can use my normal cardstock I can use some pale colors I can get some good gradients and I don't have to stress and their brushes work perfectly every time so how pretty is that I didn't use any adhesive spray on the actual stencil and I didn't have any problems at all but you could do that it's an option did you see my ice cream that's what we're doing now I have it's from the summer swirl set and I haven't colored this set up for ages and it's got three different ice creams in the set and I thought I'd use the one with the triangle cone and this is kind of like no line coloring but it's not because there are lines <laughs> they're just colored lines so I'm using the colored ink to actually add color to my image I've got my stamp positioned on my misty so that I can selectively ink my stamp so basically I added the ink to the cone portion first stamped that and then added the ink to the ice cream portion and I used the caramel toffee and the limestone oh I did forget to tell you the other two colors that I made with the honeycomb the second two colors that I used were frosty pink and sea breeze of course I will list all the colors in the description below there'll be all the links and everything like I normally do but I'll also have them all over at my blog and if you head to my blog you'll find out all the details for the hop because this is a release day and if you leave a comment there you'll have a chance to win and also I'll list everybody else along the hop so you can see what they're doing because this release it's a really fun one there's lots of different stencils but there's also new washi tapes and they're kind of die cut tapes as well so they're really unique and awesome I haven't used mine today but I will in a future project so wait for that and you'll get to see that but for now I just wanted to focus on my honeycomb stencil I will also have all the list of the Prismacolor pencils that I've used here today at the blog I 
didn't do anything really fancy here I kind of made it look a little bit cartoony but I just was having a relaxing time coloring I really enjoyed making this card I have um, the coordinating dies for this set as well so I didn't even have to cut this out all I had to do was run it through my die cutting machine it was so easy and I didn't actually make the cherry red I was tempted but I made it pink because I haven't got any red in my cardstock it would have been fine to have as a pop of red but I didn't want to do that today I thought I'd stick with my color theme it's a massive month for Alton U this month there's going to be I think it's a total of like four releases so there's some um, fun stuff happening so keep an eye out for that as well I'll um I have some more videos coming up but I also have more cards at my blog so I don't always just share my cards that are on my videos so uh, if you ever want to see what else I'm creating don't forget to head to my blog all right so I've cut my panel down added some this green fun foam today because I'm trying to use up my colored fun foam I have a stack of this stuff anyway so I've got that and I'm using some be creative tape and I'm just using that little trick where you open up the corners place your card in position adhere the corners down and then you can just tear away the tape so you know that your panel is going to be nice and straight I have uh, the word sweet which I've die cut from the tall alpha die set I'm having a love affair with this die set at the moment don't tell the bold alpha <laughs> set because I've had that oh is it the bold yeah it is it's the bold alpha set that's the one that I have used and used so now this one's my new favorite and I like the size of it because you can fit more words on your card I did pop up my ice cream and here was my dilemma pink gray black in the end I added the black because you know it's safe but I really did like the pink and the gray was quite nice too so let me know in the comments below which one you would have chose I really want to know <laughs> I've got out my shimmer pen added it to my pink cherry on top and that's my ice cream close-ups of the backgroundy thing look forward to seeing you here again real soon please click on that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already till next time happy paper crafting bye